JFT, just fair and direct. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to JFD's weekly market outlook webinar for the week December the 27th until December the 31st, which means that this is the last uh, webinar for 2021. I am Harald Ambos Pistros, Head of Research here at JFD, that will describe the most important economic releases and events on the financial agenda for the week ahead. But before we start, let's um, read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds uh, to read the rest, and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, it's, it's uh, the last week of the year with a calendar including very uh, few worth mentioning economic data and several nations under our radar being on holiday on Monday, Tuesday and Friday as uh, Christmas, Boxing Day and New Year's Day fell and fall uh, during uh, weekends. Therefore, with uh, news uh, surrounding the Omicron variant and Biden's spending uh, bill being the main drivers uh, Last week, we believe that uh, in the absence of fresh surprising headlines, this could be the case this week as well, especially amid thin liquidity. Now, get, getting the ball rolling with the Omicron coronavirus variant last week uh, started on fears uh, as uh, the fast spreading of the new strain resulted in several nations going back under full lockdown and others considering stricter restrictions that could hamper economic growth. However, a new reports confirming that uh, Omicron, although more trans transmissive than its uh, predecessors, uh, leads to fewer hospitalizations and deaths, encouraged market participants to buy the dividend equities uh, during the better half of the week. Now, another reason uh, for that may have been headlines that uh, US President Biden's spending agenda is not completely off uh, the table. Remember that market participants got worried after Senator uh, Munch said he will not support uh, the bill, but their anxiety, their anxiety eased as soon as they understood that fiscal negotiations will continue into, uh, into next year, keeping the chance for a potential compromise alive. Now, these developments allowed equity indices to add on average around 3% each last week, with Nasdaq being the main gainer with 4.49%. The improvement in investors' appetite was reflected in the FX world as well. The safe haven uh, yen was the main loser among uh, the majors uh, last week, while the risk linked uh, Aussie, Kiwi and Pound were the currencies that uh, gained the most. Now, in our view, this sets the stage for the so-called Thunder Rally this week, as uh, low volume and no new surprising headlines usually allow asset prices to follow the prevailing uh, path of uh, the prevailing path of least, of, uh, of least resistance. However, with the US airlines canceling or delaying thousands of flights over the past three days due to the pandemic, several uh, cruise ships canceling um, uh, stops after outbreaks on board, and China reporting its highest daily rise in COVID cases in 21 months, we prefer to take things step by step and not close uh, our eyes and wait for uh, for indices to just add another 3% uh, by the end of the week. Even if we do experience the Sunday rally this week, we will not call for a long-lasting recovery. It is too early to suggest that 2022 will be a better year. Yes, most nations may prefer not to tighten further their restrictions this week in order to uh, not to spoil the holidays, but uh, this could be the case next year, uh, early next year. So with that in mind, and also taking into account that central banks do not have the luxury to add more stimulus into the market due to overheating inflation, we cannot rule out more setbacks after the turn of the year. 
we believe that with some central banks uh, raising interest rates faster than others and a few others refraining from doing so any anytime soon we could experience uh, volatile swings in the FX market as well. We believe that alongside headlines surrounding the coronavirus monetary policy divergence could also be a main theme for 2022. Now, as for this week's uh, data during the Asian morning Monday, we already got the Bank of Japan summary of opinions, which uh, just revealed that uh, in January, policymakers will have to examine whether the current assessment uh, that the risks uh, to the prices are skewed to the downside will remain appropriate. Japan's retail sales uh, are also out accelerating by more than anticipated. However, with inflation in Japan near zero, well below uh, the rates of other major economies, we don't believe that uh, the Bank of Japan will start thinking about tightening monetary policy anytime soon. Therefore, we stick to our guns that the yen is likely to stay mainly driven by developments surrounding the broader market sentiment. Now, on Tuesday, Japan's employment report and industrial production both for November are coming out, while later in the day we have the U.S. Consumer Confidence Index for uh, December. Now, on Wednesday, we only have the U.S. pending home sales uh, for November, and uh, as uh, every week, the Energy Formation Administration crude oil inventory data for, uh, for the previous week. Now, Thursday is, as always, um, uh, a U.S. initial jobless claims day, while on Friday we have the Chinese uh, PMIs for December. There is available forecast only for, the, only, only for the manufacturing index and points to a small decline into the contractionary territory. So that's it uh, from me. Thank you very much uh, for watching and listening. For those who are interested in learning about the main events of, uh, excuse me, uh, thank you for watching and uh, listening. I hope you have a great week, a happy new year, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again uh, next uh, Monday. If you are interested in more detailed and frequent analysis, you can find me on our YouTube channel from Tuesday to Friday at around uh, 9 o'clock a.m. GMT. So goodbye and have a great uh, rest of the week. JFT, just fair and direct.